really excited because right now we're setting up our little mini, mini home gym. gym. By the way, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to another vlog. Okay, um, so we just got this mat in that we're going to put under the tray on the bike. So if yeah. you want to move this out. Okay. Should I get it from? Uh, just get it from the bottom. Oh, you know right what? Here, this holds up. This lifts up? Oh. Yeah. bought this mat from Wayfair and it's like a gym floor so this thing is clutch by the way yes oh this is perfect this is gonna be so perfect so we've got the Ye Soul treadmill and then we've also got the Ye Soul bike and we're just gonna line them up here <laughs> Our shoe prints are getting everywhere. Shoe prints are already getting everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that tastes good. You just cord in here? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So we'll go back there. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It is the start of getting my body back right. Post baby. I'm officially in what yeah, well both of us. Um this this ten, Wednesday will be eleven weeks. This Wednesday is gonna be eleven weeks postpartum. And I'm just now starting to get back What's working this? out. Um that's my uh yoga mat. Oh, okay. Oh that can go what we can do is we if you wanna even do yoga out here, we can move this up and then put the yoga mat right here. Well, you know what the screen can rotate? So I can just rotate it and then just have it. Oh, okay, you're young right here. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm so, I'm, she, I'm just as excited as she is about this because it's going to help me also get back on my cardio. Yeah. <laughs> That's lit. Audio mode. I'm so excited because um, it feels so good. And it's going to be the perfect weather to work out like in the garage. It's yeah. so nice. For sure. Oh, we have our little at home gym. So this is the start of, this is like our little pre doing like an actual gym. Cause like when we get the next, when we build the next house, I want like a real, It'll like a real mirrors gym. and all that stuff. But this is, the half garage is gonna be perfect for right now. This will be perfect for right Just now. Just to see if we're actually even gonna, you know, stick to using it. So. Which I plan to, I know we both have committed to this. Like oh, yeah, we really sure. wanna do this and we both really wanna get in there consistently so yeah and Brandon goes to the gym literally Monday through Friday every single day doesn't miss a day but I think I told y'all like when I go to the gym I'm in there to weight train and stuff I don't really be thinking about cardio even though I should be so at least when I come here I like I don't have to leave the house I can just come right in the garage and do my thing so yeah and then when baby's taking a nap or something I can have the little monitor out here and I can still do my thing on the or the bike. I'm about to get started on making us lunch slash dinner actually because it is six o'clock and all we've had was some biscuits this morning for breakfast. So uh, I'm just gonna do a quick and easy um, tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. I haven't made it in a in a little while and it's just something so easy I can just pop in the oven and get it going. So pretty much all you do is just roast your veggies and then I'm gonna blend them up, make some grilled cheese sandwiches and call it a day. That's all I got in me. Then I'm going to run to Best Buy and pick up the new piece of camera equipment that we got. Um, and that's Monday. I feel like Mondays are kind of hectic because we have the vlog that goes up and then um, so I pretty much have to focus on editing and Brandon has to have the baby while he's also working so Mondays are just a little bit hectic.
but I'm just gonna get us some food going because I'm actually starving. And part of me was about to just go and pick up something, but I need to really get these veggies um, cooked before they go bad. <laughs> the Love is Blind reunion with Brandon before he goes to the gym. I cannot wait to see that reunion. It's so crazy because when it started, first of all, I didn't even want to start the show, but Brandon was like, well, we don't have anything else to watch, so we just ended up watching it this season. But I'm kind of so like over these shows. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's all fake. And every, a lot of, well, I won't say everybody because you don't know everybody's heart, but I just feel like majority of the people are on these sh love shows or dating shows or marriage shows because they want to promote their business or find fame or, you know, whatever. Which, okay, I mean, I guess, yes, if you have the, oppor if you have the opportunity, who am I to say you're wrong for doing it? But sometimes it's just, I don't like it on the other person's end when they're actually going on there for love and they could care less about social media or plug in their business, you know, like they're actually on there for love and they're going on there and they're getting hurt. And that's where I have the annoyance with it. I feel like I'm quite honest when I say this a lot here on the channel, but the transition to becoming a mom has been one of the most challenging things I've ever done in life. Obviously, right? I feel like people say that all the time. And it's like, on one hand, it's not as scary as everybody makes it seem, but the way my whole entire life shifted makes it so difficult to find time to do things for myself or just like get up and go like I used to. Um, I think that's one of the things that's probably the most challenging. It's just like, because we don't have any family here, there is no get up and go anymore. <laughs> it takes us like two hours to get everything ready for the baby. And anyway, I can go down a whole rabbit hole of that. But I mean, if you know, you know, right? As parents and especially as a mom, it's so hard to find the balance between like prioritizing time to have for yourself, but also giving the attention and love and affection to everybody else in the house that needs you. I feel like now more than ever, like I've always had a deep admiration for my mom, but now that I am a mom, I really look up to her even more because it's like, girl, how did you have four kids as a single woman, go to school, work a full-time job, and graduate with your degree in respiratory therapy, like simultaneously. Honestly, I just feel like she's superwoman and nobody else can tell me any different. And that's why I am so, y'all, when I tell you this hit home for me, I am so incredibly happy and I'm so incredibly proud to be partnering with National University. And we are talking and prioritizing all things self-care. Even though I think the first thing that comes to our mind is like a spa day or a massage or getting your hair done and really just overall investing in yourself. And for some people that might look like getting your degree. And right now, National University is offering the Gift of Education Scholarship. And it is for a limited time, but I just think it's just gonna be such a blessing to someone that's looking to further their education. The scholarship is going to grant each student 
$500 off per course, which equals up to like $6,000 a year. And if you've never heard of National University, I'm here to tell you that they are an accredited nonprofit online university. And they just really understand the importance of being a student and a mom, a student and an employee a student and whatever else you are obligated to and so much more, which is why this partnership means so, so much to me and is so dear to me because I feel like National University really recognizes and prioritizes all of the ands that we have in our lives. And y'all, the craziest thing is literally over 50% of their students are parents. That's honestly so comforting to know. And just that small detail honestly makes me feel like it would just feel like home. If it is something you desire, don't forget about yourself this holiday season. Give yourself the gift of education and nurture the goals that you have for yourself. So click the link in my bio and find out more about the gift of education scholarship down below. While I'm in the bathroom and in the mood and I feel like amazing right now because I just just put myself together and just you know it just feels good so uh, what I want to do is do a little try on haul because I have been updating slash upgrading my fall wardrobe because obviously just had the baby so some things just don't really look the same I guess on so anyway I just wanted to go shopping. Let me just cut the crap. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the things that I've got. The first two pieces are going to be from Amazon. So this is one. It's so cute. It's so comfy. I love the quality. It's so funny because I remember there was a point in time where I wouldn't dare get anything off Amazon because I felt like the quality wasn't good or whatever. But I guess since there's so many people that um, like have their business on there or whatever it's just really good stuff like all the time so i love this color i'm wearing a size medium which is crazy y'all i know that they say i've got to be careful with weight gain after i stop breastfeeding i think but it's so crazy because i am so much smaller than i was before i even got pregnant um so i went down a size in my um like oversized fitting clothes because I used to get like a large but now I feel like the medium just kind of fits a little bit better and it still gives me the oversized look and um yeah anyway because I'm still gonna be trying to shed some pounds since we've got the home gym set up so I don't know I'm just excited but I love the quality of this um really good so cute I really wanted to buy some things that go with these Uggs because I finally invested in a pair. And it's, y'all, they're not even that much. I think they're probably like, I want to say under 100 bucks. But I've been wanting these for years. And I finally pulled the trigger and just got them. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Because they ended up, well, I was on the site and I saw that they have some for babies. And so I got Ocean a pair. And so I wanted to just match her, really. That's really what I did. But they're just so comfortable and so cute. So I'm glad I finally invested in them. I feel like they're going to go with a lot of stuff to just throw on for the wintertime. Super cute. Okay, this one, y'all. So cute. Oh, my gosh. It is so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. So adorbs. The material is so soft. Cozy. I just love it. And I just love the three-quarter length zipper. That is adorable. Oh, I like, oh, it has the, uh, the thumb holes. I love these. Even though, you know what's funny? I love these so much, but I rarely ever put my thumb in them. Because they kind of, like, annoy me a little bit. But this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I need to get more colors of this one. I love this one a lot, a lot, a lot. When I tell you, I am so glad. Okay, so this is Zara. When I tell you I'm so glad I ordered both colors in this, there's another like ecru color, kind of like a beigey white color that I also have. I'm probably not gonna try it on because it's exactly the same. But oh, I knew this was gonna be it when I saw it on the site. I just 
know it it like holds you in so good but it's like sweat it's like sweat it's like elevated sweat it's like an elevated sweatsuit so it's the top and bottom Zara did their thing on this one with this one. I wish they had more colors, but I'm so glad I ended up getting the other one. Oh my god, it's so good, so good. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So good. I literally feel like I'm wearing. Well, it is a sweatsuit. It's like um, maybe like cotton or something, but it's stretchy. But it's just elevated. Like I feel sophisticated. I feel like a mom on the go, you know? This is too good. With my Uggs, ah, I love it so much. I hope y'all can see them, they're so cute. That is adorable. I can't even put heels on with this though. So cute, chef's kiss. Like, I don't even wanna take this off. This is too good. They did their thing. Y'all, this is the only thing you need from this haul, honestly. This right here, this is, this is bomb. This is bomb and get both colors. They're gonna be linked down below. This is it. I also getting back into like statement jewelry. So I ended up getting a couple of um, like bracelets. Like, look at that. Come on, that's too good. It looks like, yes, like this is elevated. I love this so much. This is so cute. And the jewelry is actually really nice quality too. Zara. They're coming back around. I was scared for a minute. Look at this one. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Like that is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this is the last one that came in a set. Ah, can't fit around my ring. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, bam. So good, so good, so good. Oh. A little hard to fit. Okay, so it's like snake skin and then a green and then maroon. So these are very, very, very on trend right now. And this game is a set. Just look at that. If I put that on with that, so good. Oh, Zara, yes. Let me see what else I've got because y'all, I just been in my defense. You know, I am postpartum and finding my style again. And now I'm a mom, so you know things are just different. And you know, so. I've definitely been treating myself, but what I need to do is actually get out of the house to wear it. That's the challenge lately. You know what, since I don't want to take it off right now, I'm just going to spend a couple more minutes in it. So I wanted to show you what I also got from a brand called Kits. So I don't know if you guys have seen it or heard it or heard of it, but they were so kind enough to send me some sunglasses one of them are Prada. I'm just so grateful. Like, thank you so, so, so much. This is like insane. Thank you. Thank you so much. And they didn't even want a shout out, but like, you sent me Prada glasses. Of course, I'm going to shout you out. And the quality is insane with their own brand. So I just want to try them on. And these are the ones that I selected. The quality is amazing. And I love this. I always forget the name of this print. Such good quality. So these are by the brand. This shape is so good for my face with the bob. Oh, elevated. But this is by the brand Kits, right? And then the Prada ones, I'm so happy about because I needed a black pair of sunglasses that didn't have gold. So that's what I was on a hunt for. I really needed some with silver. So I ended up selecting these. It just has the um, Prada logo here in silver, which is what I needed. And this shape is always a classic go-to shape. So um, I decided on the shape. Thank you so much, kids. This is, wow, I'm so honored. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And so I guess what's really cool about the brand, they actually sent over another pair of shades and they kind of give off those same product vibes. So I think what they may have is like some 
I guess they would be called like replicas of designer brands. So they have their own brand and then they have the designer brand and then they have replicas. So that's pretty dope because these are so good too. And actually they're a little bit more narrow and I love these. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. So cute. Like I am a girl that wear, and it has like the kids logo here. I wear sunglasses from all over. I have some that cost six bucks from a gas station and then I have some that come from Prada. Um, so, so these are so good. Like this just looks so good, so classy. I love them so much and they're good quality, all of them. When I tell you Zara is on point this season, this is insane. I don't know if I will wear this together, but I just wanted to put on the other pants. So these are this is the color I was talking about. It's the same set like the black one I just took off. But I think I would go for a full look like this. It just looks classy and expensive. This sweater. Let me just get closer. Like you're kidding right Zara this is insane this is beautiful this is giving high fashion it just looks so cute I'm obsessed okay last but certainly not least this is so cute this is my last Zara piece and I just love this sweater it's so cute it has like little beads here the detailing is so good it's heavy it's thick and I love the silhouette of it it gives you shape even though but it still gives you sweater I love a sweater like this because it doesn't make you it doesn't make your shape get lost in the sauce I forgot I got this cute brown clutch and it's so cute because look at that that's how you hold it is that not incredible it's kind of like jewelry just imagine oh so today we have a um, couple things we got to do. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to lock in on this Ohio State game because we got a big game against Penn State. And I mean, you know, it could be one of those things where we're ranked number four, they're ranked number three. And so we need to go ahead and get that dub today. We need to beat them and we need to really show people who Ohio State is today. So I'm going to lock in on that game. And then um, later on, we got um, Brandon and Merlanda, they're, they're gonna pull up. Um, I guess Destiny and Merlanda are gonna do their nails cause they bought this kit. Um, and so me and Brandon are probably like ecstatic right now because now they're gonna be doing their own nails and they ain't gotta go out here and be spending a bunch of uh, money trying to get their nails done. Y'all getting your nails done is really gotten very expensive. And I mean, I, obviously I don't get my nails done, but I see, you know, indirectly what it would it be costing Destiny. And it's like, they do a good job, but it's like, bruh, it's expensive. So um, they both bought kits and stuff. So they're going to be doing their nails. And then me and Brent just going to be chilling out. And I'm also putting some steaks on the grill. And so I already got the steaks seasoned. They ready to go. And so we're going to have a nice little dinner with them. Um, I think we're going to do a loaded baked potato steak salad and we got some um bacon wrapped something let me see what what it is we got down here bacon wrapped with these hold on one second y'all oh they're beef and bacon twister so they're bacon wrapped beet petite tender skewers yeah so this is what this is what uh this is what we're gonna be doing but let me show y'all let me show y'all these steaks real quick that are marinating. I usually marinate my steaks the night before, so when they come out, they uh they right, but this is what they look like. Yeah, so that's what they look like. So I basically uh I basically marinate them and season them the night before, let them sit uncovered in the fridge overnight. So that way the next day they're ready to just yeah. Yeah, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. And I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna put them on the grill that you know I've been using since that my boy got me a long time ago, or am I gonna throw them on a the blackstone? I haven't put steaks on the blackstone yet, so I'm thinking I may do that just because I mean you gotta try at some point, you gotta get your feet wet, so why not today, right? So 
I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put them bad boys on the Blackstone. I really think I'm gonna do that and just see how they come out. Hopefully they come out good. But then again, it's like, you know, when you have people that's coming over, you want to make sure that you go for what you know. You know on the on the other grill they're gonna be good because I've done it so many times. So <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But like I said, I gotta get my feet wet. So we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, I'm about to lock in on this Ohio State game. Okay, so Merlanda's here. Say hi. <laughs> and we're going to attempt to do our own gel X nails. We've got all, that. all the stuff we need. We got the gel X press ons, we got the little soap bowl. We've got the drill, the drill we got the lights, the lights and then all of our um, polishes in here and files and everything we need. So fingers crossed we do a good job because we want to save that um, money that we always spend at the nail salon, which is like 150 plus. Which is crazy. Last time I paid 200 and Insane. we did the math. If we were to do 225 every month, that's like $500. No, every two weeks, that's $500. When we did the math in the car, that's $6,000 a year on nails. On nails, bro. That's crazy. So I'm gonna link all this stuff down below in case it comes out good and <laughs> y'all like it. But um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. So we both need our nails done now. And this is actually Jellix that we both have on now too. So yeah, we're about to get going and hopefully this comes out good. Okay, so I got them all off on this hand. Not bad, it looks good. I did my cuticles and everything. So I'm kind of happy, but I think it's already been like 45 minutes to an hour. And it took that long to get it off. I'm struggling. It might move quicker once we get used to doing it more. Melinda's still struggling a little bit. But she did the wrap to this. Yeah. Because it's not coming off. But y'all, this is not easy. Now, it's not easy, but I still don't feel like they need to be charging us $150 to do it. But for the convenience... I, I, I can see myself going back if that makes sense but this also isn't that bad because we get to like have friends over chit chat have fun we're gonna have some steaks later you know so it could be like a bi-weekly or monthly thing so I don't know we'll see how this goes and how good they last that's gonna be the thing you know what we should do hmm. get our nails in yeah. Maybe that's because they do only charge ten dollars. Yeah, for that, I think that's what I'm saying. But See, we could go there, have them take them off, and then come here and. But that's not a bad more. idea. But we could go anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's a nail true. shop, like right. That's true. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl man. from around she my way. way. Ever try to hold back your feelings? Master B and Grill Master Oh B. <laughs> <laughs> Two Grill Master Bs. Yeah, and we got the Baby steak City on. <laughs> Baby City. Oh, Baby City. <laughs> right, Baby Sitter Mer. <laughs> How you gonna come in a uh, <laughs> conversation? Yeah, hmm.
Y'all, so as y'all can see, I just left um, the massage place. So my lovely, amazing, beautiful wife had booked me a um, a surprise, like, you know, a little spa situation. Um, so she got me a facial and she got me a massage. So shout out to you, Destiny. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And I love you. And I thank you. Truly, truly thankful for it. But it was a surprise because I woke up and she was like, oh, uh, this morning, she was like, oh, you have an appointment. And I said, an appointment for what? She was like, oh, um, I booked you a, to get a facial and a massage. I'm like, wait, what? And so, uh, yeah, it was a nice surprise. Um, I needed a facial because I hadn't had one in a long time. And also we're taking pictures um, this week and we're doing like headshots. And so I basically had to um, get my face done because, you know, with headshots and stuff like that, it's I mean, they get all the details and stuff. So, I, so she was like, you know, I wanted you to get your um, face right and everything for that. So and then, of course, it was a 60 minute facial, which the facial was bomb. The lady was good. I mean, the facial was just like everything. So I think I'm going to start doing those once a month. And then, of course, I got a 60 minute massage, which if y'all have never gotten a massage, I don't know where what have you been doing in life, but massages are everything in their life. They are the most amazing feeling. And it's just you just feel so refreshed and rejuvenated and it feels good. And like I said, that was my first time getting a facial in a long time. And that facial was amazing. Like she was plucking, she was rubbing, she was scrubbing. I mean, she was doing everything in my face possible. And so it was the one of the most amazing things in the world. But um yeah, other than that, um done. Now I'm headed home to go see the wife and the baby, what the baby's up to. I know she was asleep when I left. Um we had stream church and then I got ready and then left and then they were asleep or she was sleeping. So about to go home and see what they got going on. Probably lock in on these football games. Y'all, Ocean, she slept like six hours last night, which is kind of like, I mean, that's, that's kind of the mo the longest she's ever slept overnight without waking up. And so um, she's really starting to grow and develop. She's doing her thing. She's more alert. And she's just like, now it's just her, her naps are getting less and less during the day. But then at night, she's kind of like sleeping a little bit longer. And so she's doing amazing. And it's just it's just a, a, a amazing time to really be uh, a parent because it's like she's growing and she's developing and she's doing new things each and every week. And so just to see the development, to see the growth, to see the changes that are happening, like before our eyes with her is just like it's just one of the most amazing feelings and things in the world. And so she's just doing great, man. She's thriving and developing and, and doing her thing. So very proud of her. Of course, um, last night we had uh, Brendan and Merlando over. They came over to because um, Merlando and Destiny had to do their nails, as you saw in the earlier clips. And um, we just had a good time with them. They were they were holding the baby, and and we had dinner. And um, after that, they helped us film a video that we had to do. And so we just had a great time with them. It's always a great time with them. Great company, great vibes, and so. Yeah, it's just been a great weekend. And I mean, like I said, this surprise was waiting on me um, this morning um, from my lovely, lovely wife. And so again, Destiny, I thank you. And um, I really appreciate it. Everything was amazing. It felt good. Um, Massage Envy is definitely um, a place that uh, I'll, I'll be coming back to. And like I said, now that I got this facial, now that I got this skin on deck, this skin looking, you know, ah! check one, check two, check two. You know, I want to dedicate this song to my baby girl, Ocean. Hey, yo, Ocean with the motion. I just want you to know, girl, this is for you, baby. Maybe you could be a purple monkey in a bubblegum tree. And then you can fly. Then you can see. Then you can fly back to me. Ooh, baby girl. Yeah. Follow me on IG, baby. So today, in this edition of Cuts and Combo, I want to basically talk about the holidays, right? So obviously with the holidays coming up, you know, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. It's really time to sit back and reflect and just be with family. Um, a lot of times, I think 
what I've done is I've kind of basically taken more of an approach of realizing what the season is for. You know, in the past, we get so caught up on, you know, buying gifts and, and buying things and the money that we got to spend. And, you know, it's more about just like Black Friday and, you know, making sure we got a lot of presents under the tree. But I wanted to stop by today and talk to you guys a little bit and let and kind of call back into remembrance really what this season is about. Life is too precious, it's too short, right? And so we really just want to take this time to really be with our families and reflect and talk and laugh and eat, break bread with each other, reflect back on memories and things of that nature. And a lot of times because people get so caught up on uh, buying things and what the season is, what, you know, society and social media says the season is about, I just kind of want to just come by and tell you guys, like, make sure that you're celebrating with family, make sure that family, you know, whether you have family, you, you don't have a lot of family, like close to you in proximity, or if you're going to visit family, make sure you really take these moments over the holidays to really cherish the time that you have with family. Because like I said, life is too short. You know, we're all on this earth for a certain time, for a certain period, and then, you know, we're not on it no more, right? Make sure that you are appreciating and enjoying and being thankful just to be around loved ones, just to be around family. If you got kids, make sure these moments you are, you know, hanging out with family and spreading a lot of joy to your kids and just the people that are really close and intimate in your life. Because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters in this season. You know, it's one of those things where you don't have to be so caught up on like getting a lot of gifts or, you know, what type of gift you're getting. But I think the most intimate moments with your family, those are the gifts that are priceless. Those are the gifts that you, that money cannot buy, you know? So you just wanna make sure that you are taking time to celebrate with family and friends and enjoying really the people that are most important to you. You know, one of the things that me and Destiny talk about a lot is the fact that we don't have like a lot of family in close proximity to us. You know, our family's like five hours away and our family's up north or my family's up north. And so one of the things that we wish that we had is family close to kind of celebrate the holidays with. Um, and of course, now that we have ocean, it's like. You know, we would love for Ocean to be around her cousins, around her grandparents and, and things of that nature. And so we just don't have the luxury of that um, unless we travel, which we don't mind doing. But I said that to say we wish that everybody was in close proximity where we could do like big family dinners and things of that nature. And so that's kind of one of the things that we are currently thinking about as well It's like, we just want that family around. We just want those close and intimate relationships around. And the fact that we don't have that right now, that's something that we both are longing for. So I said that because I just want you to know if your family's close, make sure you cherish those moments with them, especially in this time. Because again, you know, you have people out there that wish that they could have that, you know, maybe they have loved ones that have gone on and, and, and unfortunately went on to be with God. and you know, they don't have that luxury. And so I just want to stress to you guys that make sure that you hug your loved ones tight this season, be with them and just continue to show them that, hey, listen, I love you. I care about you. I'm here with you. I'm glad to be celebrating with you over the holidays. It's another, I mean, it's another holiday that God has blessed us to be a part of, you know, Anytime you make it to another Thanksgiving or Christmas, that's a blessing. And so you truly want to just take advantage of that and, and share those moments with the people that mean the most to you. All right, and we're all set. So 
make sure y'all kick it with loved ones. Even if you got to call a family member who you may have not have talked to in a long time and just be like, hey, look, let's link up over the holidays. You know, I miss you. We haven't talked in a while. I mean, you know, life has been lifing. Um, let's just link up over the holidays. Maybe let's go watch a Christmas movie or whatever the case may be. Just find some people in your life, whether it's family, friends, loved ones that you can hang out with this holiday. And so you can really celebrate what the holiday is truly meant to be. All right. So that being said, make sure y'all let me know um, if y'all have any other topics y'all want me to talk about in Cuts and Combo. I'll be more than happy to uh, talk about them. So let me know. Other than that, thank y'all so much for tuning into this vlog. We appreciate you guys as always. And we're going to see you for the next one. We out. Peace.